Hot Springs Village Inside Out is a closer look at the greatness of Hot Springs Village, Arkansas and the surrounding areas, people, places, experiences. Hot Springs Village is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Join me, Randy Cantrell, and my co-host Dennis Simpson as we engage in weekly conversations to explore Hot Springs Village Inside Out. Today's show is brought to you by Central Arkansas's favorite radio station, KVRE. Find them on the dial at 92.9 FM. Stream them live at kvre.com. Remax of Hot Springs Village. The award-winning Remax of Hot Springs Village is the largest real estate office inside the village with over 30 full-time agents and support staff. Visit them to learn more about this beautiful place to solve your real estate needs. Call them today at 1-800-364-9007. Find them online at explorehsv.com. They are Remax of Hot Springs Village at 1-800-364-9007 or online at explorehsv.com. Ike Eisenhower State Farm. Ike and his award-winning team have been serving the insurance needs of folks all around Hot Springs Village since 1998. Ike has qualified for State Farm's President's Club, Chairman's Circle, and Hot Springs Village Insurance Agent of the Year. Call Ike Eisenhower State Farm today at 501-984-4100. That's 501-984-4100. Find them online at IkeEisenhower.net. Call them today for all your insurance needs because, like a good neighbor, Ike Eisenhower State Farm is there. Here with the lovely Miss Donette Bodkin. Donette, how are you this morning? Very good. How are you? Doing well. And Donette and I share, well, more than one thing in common, but one particular thing in common is we should not be left to our own devices because we're way too industrious. Is that fair? Absolutely. <laughs> Donette is is a partner in several companies, but primarily, primarily, it's Design Group. Is that right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And tell us what exactly that is. What do you do? So, Design Group Consulting is a marketing and business consulting firm. We started off as a marketing firm where we did anything and everything marketing, from graphic design, copywriting, website design, print ads, uh, media buys. You name it, we did it. Um, public relations, everything. And we still do. But in the process of me running this company for the last eight years, I we work primarily with small businesses and all of them have asked me technical questions or how do I set up a bank account or where do I get funding or, you know, all kinds of different business questions. And so I kind of spun off a division that we do business consulting um, as well so that we can help them and guide them through launching a business and you know, what to do with this software and how it can save you money and that kind of stuff. And then I also do coaching, both from the marketing and business side to help small businesses achieve their goals. And both the business consulting and the coaching are by the hour. And there's no commitment, you know, we can do one offs or whatever. And I just sit with them and say, okay, what obstacles are you facing? What do you need to accomplish? And let's, let me guide you through it or help you do it. You proved my point. We are way too industrious, you and I. You <laughs> said, you said, we're there at the beginning, and I until you said that, it never really hit me. Eight years. Eight years. D- do you realize that means we've known each other about a decade now? We have. I've been in the village for almost 12 years now. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, you started at the POA with, uh, speaking of crazy, some other former uh, managers and people that had you basically, let, let me, I'm, I'm going to do give you credit that you would never claim for yourself. And that is the vast majority of the signs up and down DeSoto and the signage was you, I know. Yeah. And and the bottom line is, is that before then we had little bitty signs that would say trail or little bitty signs that would say, you know, where's the POA at? Where's the, where's the lake at? Where's the... It was really a mess. It really was. And I know this was, anyway, an endeavor of giving birth kind of thing for you, too. But that said, eight years ago, wow, I didn't realize you'd done that. Now, I know you had had marketing background before you even came to the village before that. But that said, show us what you've got. And and let me before we go there real quick, one of the things I've had you do for us lately, us being the THA, 
is the DeSoto sign, which I cannot wait to get this thing up. Go ahead and share that if you would. Okay. So this will be the new sign you see at the DeSoto Courts. Welcome home <clears throat> to DeSoto Courts. Great job. Great graphic. Delineates itself just enough from the POA that we're not the POA, but we are the THA. And yeah, yeah. I love the new path we're on. Can I ask, where did you get some of the ideas for this? Well, uh, I wanted to add color since we can do a Centro type sign, which is a basically a, a some kind of, I don't know what I'm looking for the word. It is a material. <laughs> so yeah, I well, coffee this morning. A material that lasts for years and years and years outdoors that it allows you to, to fully print in all colors. So we were able to do like the graphics of the wood and add some colors that pop and add some dimension. So it feels like it's a natural sign, but it's actually an all printed sign. Yeah, and, and actually in this particular instance, and we're gonna have the dimensions here, we'll, we'll make this and I can show a demo of it later, but I can't wait to get this thing up. It's actually, in the simplest words, it's a vinyl wrapped piece of aluminum in this instance, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah and the, and this, this particular sign, the POA, I'm singing their praises again, it was really stepping up and helping us. The POA is paying, uh, I think, 250 for one of these signs, and we're paying 250 for the other one because there's two as you enter the gates. Oh, my goodness. And your prices were wonderful for the artwork, too. But here's the deal, Danette. I, I have a little bit of art skills, but I don't have agency-type art skills, which is what you guys do. How would I do that myself? Show me another solution. Well, um, so this year I'm launching two different programs. One of, well, the, whole, the main program is called Learn to Do. And I, again, have had so many different clients around the nation that they want me to do their social media for them. But I have found that the most successful way for social media to take off and deliver sales and all that kind of stuff is for every owner of each business to be involved in it. So we can write standardized copy that have full SEO words and, you know, drive traffic to it and stuff. But if it's not feeling authentic, then people are going to kind of get, well, do I like this company? Do I not like this company? So, well, well I, and, and let's let me interrupt just for a second and back up to that. SEO is search engine optimization. These are words that Google looks for. Right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And I you, speak, I no, speak no, 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 <laughs> you, you, you and I both are guilty of E-I-E-I-O. You know, we, we, everything <laughs> everything is a TDL, three letter designator. But social media, the social media we're talking about, is not just Facebook. A lot of people think of Facebook, but it's it's Instagram. It's TikTok. It's it's whatever type media applies to your market. And, and I know exactly where you're at because I, I consult with people and I say, look, you really need to be updating your social media probably once a week to every two weeks, your website every couple of weeks. And when you talk to them and their eyes glaze over and you realize, it, but so you say, okay, well, their eyes glaze over and you're like, oh, geez, how are we going to do this? But we really want to do this. Okay. Then you have to now educate me on your product enough so that I know something to say authentic about your product. Does this sound okay. familiar? Yeah, very. <laughs> yes. Yeah, absolutely. So this new program, it's a three month period. So I don't like to overwhelm anyone with too much information at one time. Yeah. And it's virtual. And so they could see my computer and I can see their computer. And we literally talk about from the very beginning of is your business on Google My Business? Uh, what are the right, I have another one that is very specific to target markets. What are the right target markets for you? Because some mm -hmm. people yeah. have... TikTok, Zoom, I mean, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, Snapchat, Instagram, LinkedIn, like they have all of them, but they don't post all of them. And their demographic may be business to business. So they don't need to be on Snapchat, you know? I mean, so we kind of work on what are the target markets that work for them. And then we go in and we write standardized copies so that there are some keywords in there for search engines to find them. Mm -hmm. And then we talk about what are your brand colors and what can you do with pictures without infringing on copyrights? What can you do with videos and how videos are really important today because it's the instant gratification world and nobody mm -hmm. has time to read anything. How do you... Nobody, even if they did, they don't. Nobody reads anything. Right. I, I, literally, yeah. And it, your posts need to be one or two sentences if you do write something. Mm -hmm. So mastering adding those keywords and making it authentic and writing those posts is super important. And then we dive into each social media and what we think 
what I think should be the best plan for them and what they're already doing. We do a digital view, so we see their entire online presence and compare it to competitors and find loopholes and things that need to be edited or removed or added to it. And then um, I train them on softwares that they can use to streamline everything. So it takes something that is so overwhelming and brings it down to something that's manageable and easy. So I found that this program is really helping companies and then they feel like they have ownership of their social media and they're doing something right and it's driving sales and it's driving traffic and it's increasing likes. So this is what we want. Well, and, and, and to be frank about it, you know, look, the bottom line is we want the phone to ring or we want people to walk in the door. Exactly. It's that simple, right? And, and and let me let me back way back up again because we take things for granted. As a friend, I forget to mention the bottom line is that you say people all over the United States or or the world. This is not a only Hot Springs Village thing. You can help anybody anywhere. And I happen to know we have guests coming in from North Idaho. Now, why would you leave North Idaho in January and come to Hot Springs? Okay, yeah, okay, I got that. <laughs> But but we we have people that literally watch from all over the United States. They reach out to us and they're saying, okay, how do we do this? The bottom line is this is a itch that needs to be scratched so bad. But people, because I know I know exactly what you're talking about. We sit down and we say, okay, I know the market dynamics. Do you want to compare it to somebody else? They don't their eyes start glazing over at that point when we're talking about just, you know, comparing things. And when you start, oh, well, that's our competitor. Is it really? Is that really right. your competitor? Uh, so, oh, you're on it. This is such a great idea. Do you have a ballpark of prices that this would be to start with or something you'd feel comfortable sharing? Or Yeah, it it's three depend? months for $1,000 each. So it's a three for three deal. So that's let me get this straight. So I could have my people trained in about three months, roughly, for about 3000 bucks, right? Yes, sir. And the great thing that goes along with it, too, is my team jumps in and we do templates and graphic designs and all that kind of stuff. And on the backside as part of this that we load into your new software. So and we teach you how to use it. So then you can be like a graphic design master, too. So, I mean, we give you so much bang for the buck on this program. It really we just is. want everybody to succeed. Yeah, and look, and, and for you and I, we know how to do this. I, I tell you what, let me give you a hint. Do two podcasts a week, <clears throat> do two radio shows a week, do tons of social media all the time, do Instagram all the time, and you can dominate the space in Hot Springs Village. How about that? That's all it takes, right, Danette? Is that Exactly. Absolutely. Well, not exactly. There's a lot of work in, <laughs> a lot of working in between there. My, my point being say, it. But behind the scenes, it's 20 hours in here and 20 hours there. <laughs> There's a duck out on the lake who looks like he's just moving along, but he is paddling like crazy. Yeah, yeah that, <laughs> exactly. that, that's what's going on. No, and, and what I'm seeing is, is uh, so uh, my co-host, Randy, who's going to be with me a lot more now that he's moved back to the village. Um, <clears throat> Randy's son, Ryan, has over a million followers in, on wow. Instagram. I mean, on TikTok, on TikTok. And what he does is, is he shoots little bitty videos of his home inspections that he does for people. You know, why do you need a home inspection? Well, number one, you, you're, it's nearly mandatory. But if you buy with cash, you don't have to have one. But he will literally take a thermal imaging camera and point it at the walls and show you where the insulation is missing. Okay. Um, now, good. Then the reason, the reason, and it's it's a super cool video, and it's Ryan Cantrell. Ryan Cantrell. You can look him up. He's in uh, Dallas, the Dallas Fort Worth area. Tons of hits, great, just great media. Hates being on camera, is not a media type person, but he's slaying it because the content and the market are lined up. My point being, who watches TikTok? People that live in homes, right? Right. Right. So okay. you, when you talk about what social media applies to what customer, a lot of people mismatch that, don't they? Oh, all the time, all the time. And they're missing huge customer bases. They're not talking to their customer, which is the beautiful thing of social media. It's one-on-one -on -one talking to your customer. So if you're not on the right medium, then you're totally missing the ball there. And some of them don't know of all the social mediums out there because you know what? Listen, it changes every day. <laughs> There's new ones about the market. There's ones that change the what you can and cannot do. I mean, the it is always a dynamic kind of thing. So being able to sit back and say, okay, wait a second, 
I am selling X, Y, Z to this customer. How do I reach this customer and narrowing it down and just doing what you need to do to talk to the right customer is imperative in marketing. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. I'm going to tell you a a final story and just because it proves this point to the end. I went last week to talk to a customer about some telephones in very, very rural South Central Arkansas. They have a uh, a huge, huge equipment company that provides agri equipment to to multi state areas. And I walked in the door. We're talking about phones, and as you do, Danette, then you start talking about SEO, and then you start talking about reviews, and then you start talking about traction, and then you start talking about social media across the platforms, and da 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 da. And the owner was very interested when I said, you know, you've got a three point six rating. And that really kind of stinks. And I know you guys are really sold on excellence. And one of the owner, the owner's wife came in and said, well, who, now who wrote those reviews? And we pulled it up and went through the named reviews. Well, I don't want those people anyway, and they're not any good. And that's warranty work. And I don't want to do warranty work. And she went down every list why she didn't really care about anybody that left a review. And I thought, I love you. And I really do. But that's the last generation's mindset. You you just cannot afford to do that in this market, can you, Danette? Absolutely not. You, one of the things customers that I deal with don't even have a Google My Business page, which is where those reviews land on and how people find you. On it. You know, when they Google, I want a painting store, then you mm-hmm. should pop up and it should show your address and your information and all that stuff. And that's where people write the reviews. Well, even if it's a negative review, you always, always want to respond as soon as possible and say, you know, here's my phone number or what is your phone number? Let's talk about it so that people know that you care. Your brand you're not reputation responding. You're not is res- key. You're not responding to that review. You're responding to the people that read that review and know that you are a competent business person that says, I'm sorry this happened. This is very unfortunate. Let us try and fix that. Would you contact me? Can we talk directly about this? That shows such sincerity. Nah, we don't want to do that. I'm like, you are you are shooting your own ship in the foot. You will, this, this ship will sink in a matter of time. You know, in today's social media, we just live and thrive on reviews. And without those reviews, Jeanette, what do you do? Well, it, not only just reviews, but talking to the customers. If somebody likes it, like it back. If somebody asks hmm. a question, answer back. And there's a response rating. You want to be in the 100% response rating. Like, no, if it's two o'clock in the morning and you're asleep, people understand you're going to respond the next business day. But if you see a message and you get a notification, respond as quickly as you can, because these are the people that you are your customers. So it's just like walking in the door of somewhere and you're in a retail store and nobody says hi to you or approaches you and you have a question. People. People are going to walk out, right? Well, it's the same thing with social media. It's just through reviews and notifications and messages and likes and and all that kind of stuff. So you need to be active on your social media every single day. And again, respond as quickly as possible. Excellent information. And I'm going to go way to the five mile high view again, because you and I have a a propensity to dig in the details too much. For those of you that remember Yellow Pages, you and me, right, Danette? Remember? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, when when Dad and I started a printing company in '84, the Yellow Pages representative pulled up in the front front of our building, which was a Morgan Portable building that used to be a bank. It may have been 800 square feet. We were struggling to start a business, and the Yellow Pages representative pulled up. I am not exaggerating, Danette, in a flyer, fire engine red Ferrari. Nice. Yeah, and my dad. My dad <laughs> said, "Whatever he's selling, I don't want to buy any of." And but but I'm not saying they made a lot of money with the Yellow Pages, but they were able to drive Ferraris as their everyday drivers. Just read into that as you will. Right? right. He comes in. They shoot us an astronomical number, but without Yellow Pages, I mean, you were dead. Nobody yeah. even knew you existed. There was no internet. There was no no parallel medium to use. That said. Google Places is the yellow pages of today. Yes, and people is. that are asking, what's a Google Place? When you type, when you Google your address or Google your business and a little card shows up on the right-hand side that says, 
other people have told us that you're open from eight to five, and we think this is your address. Is this your address? Do you want to claim this business? What is the answer, Jeanette, if it says, do you want to claim this business? Well, tell me what you should do. Oh, claim it right away. Make sure your, your information is correct. Make sure your about information is correct. Make sure your products are on there, your services are on there, your right hours, uh, the right phone number, the right website. And then there's opportunities to add photos of your business. There's opportunities to add updates of your business, just like other social posts. There's opportunities to add events to your business so people can find your event even more. This is like the number one social media that is overlooked all the time. That you want free. to keep it active. Yeah, and it is free. And well, and you, you and I were talking about reply to those reviews. Unless you own that Google Place, you can't reply authentically to that review. You can't say, hey, I'm Dennis here. I'm the owner. I'm sorry you had that event. But how can we help it, right? Exactly. And if you don't claim the business, you don't get the notification. So you may not even know the reviews out there. Exactly. So, exactly. Danette, as on- always, oh, I'm, I'm, sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You were saying. Your online reputation is just as important as if you were doing a community reputation or a nonprofit reputation or a store reputation. Your online reputation needs to be managed every single day. And the the reviews is a big part of that. I think I may put you in touch with my friends in rural South Arkansas. (laughs) 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 Because... uh, you 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 explain it better than I do by any stretch. Social media classes or learn to do, as you were saying. I love this. Obviously, you do coaching inside of that, but 501-209-2806. 501-209-2806. I'm saying this for when we play this on the radio later. Yay. That will be 501-209-2806. Danette, and I'm sure if we called that number, we would get to speak to you personally. Is that correct? Absolutely, you would. Oh, it's been a delight. Thanks again, Danette, so much. You're always so helpful. I really think this is a, a a program that could help people. And you say roughly just about $1,000 a month. Is that right? Yes, $1,000 for three months. So a total of $3,000. And you get so many added benefits to it. Well, and I'll tell you what, uh, the uh, the fine folks uh, out there listening or watching that say $1,000 I guarantee you, this is literally money in the bank. If, if Two years from now, you'll go, we only paid $1,000 for that, really? Oh, it's very much worth the investment. And you learn so much, and you're able to really bring in sales and bring in new customers and follow your reputation, do all of these different things. Uh, it's, it, it's worth it. It's something that you every business today has to have a social media presence. So why not do it well? And do it great. And take control of it much like you would your own life, right? Absolutely. 100%. The Net Bodkin Design Group, great to see you again. Talk to you soon. Me too. Bye. Thanks for watching and listening to Hot Springs Village Inside Out, a weekly podcast starring Hot Springs Village, Arkansas. Visit the website at hotspringsvillageinsideout.com.